Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quinnon's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 162, Her Royal Highness. Chapter 58 of Himutsu Sensei Goranger. Well, now that we all know about the main six's past and that they join forces with us again, I think we're going to have an easier time dealing with crime. Come in! Quentin, have you got a moment? Oh, the main six is here. What brings you girls here? Princess Celestia is coming down to Animation Land. She'll be here in a few hours. She's really excited to meet you. Wow, that's amazing. The Code of Veggies and Asagi are waiting for us just outside Silco. Okay, that's a good place to meet her. Let's go. Princess Celestia is the ruler of the Equestria. It's basically her duty to watch over us with a warm heart. She's also my mentor, and as you may remember, she's the one who sent me here to Animation Land to help deal with the Black Frost Army. Oh, I remember that part. Thank God they're dead. Plus, if Twilight weren't sent here, you wouldn't have even met us. Oh yeah, Celestia is responsible for our friendship. What the John? Over here! Oh hey, Miyako, Momoko, Kaoru, Usagi. Wait, there's a carriage flying over us. It's landing right in front of us. That's her. Princess Celestia! Who's that dark blue girl next to her? Oh, that's her sister, Princess Luna. I didn't expect her to come as well. So you're Bowser, the ultimate power of himself. Indeed I am, your highness. Nice to meet you. I guess I'm responsible for your friendship with Twilight here and her friends. Exactly! You sent Twilight here to Saffron City and that's where she met him. Then he introduced her to us and we've been friends ever since. About a few weeks later, Twilight introduced us to her friends, which alongside her, formed the main six. You probably don't know what Equestria is like, do you? Well, Equestria is a magical land off the coast of Animation Land where friendship is a magical thing. We Equestrians are half horse, which would explain what happened one day. Go on, we're listening. The Black Cross Fear appeared and turned us all into ponies. Some of us were turned into alicorns, some were turned into Pegasus ponies, and others were turned into unicorns. Equestria was in despair for a whole year. I can't even imagine what it was like. After being like this for six months, months I found out that a teenage boy had survived the wrath of the Black Cross Fear and was currently taking down his Black Cross army. I sent my student, Twilight Sparkle, to Animation Land to help him. After the Black Cross army was finally extinct, it took a few months before the spell was finally broken. Thank you, Bowser, for doing away with the Black Cross army forever. Thanks, Your Highness, but I wasn't alone. I had the Kotokuji sisters and the rest of the main six backing me up. I'm a witness! I also had the famous Himitsu Sentai Goranger backing me up, but they went back to Japan this past spring. Please kneel before me. Okay, then. For your extravagant leadership and the resistance of the Black Cross Army, I knight thee, Sir Bowser, Warrior of Justice. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must return to Equestria at once. It was nice meeting you! Wow, what an amazing day! Oh, I just realized, Crime's next mechanical monster could appear any time, so we need to keep an eye out for him or her. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed meeting Princess Celestia. Stop by whenever Crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quinz and Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment.
This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.